from St. John chapter 10, verse 10. So let's go back to 1 Peter, the very first one. I'm going to start there. We have 1 Peter 5 and 8. Say amen. amen. The word of God tells us in 1 Peter 5 and 8, it says, Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, that means your arch enemy. Your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. All right, let's go to St. John chapter 10, verse 10. Amen. Jesus said, The thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and destroy. And I come that they may have life and they have life more abundantly. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, put your sword in your hand this morning and hold it up because this morning we're going to use it to cut the devil's head off this morning. Hallelujah. Tell somebody in the name of Jesus. Together, we're taking it back. Everything the devil thought he stole, we're taking it back. Amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of God. Amen. Before I, before I relinquish the ordained godly method, there's a method of restoration. Okay? First, let's ask ourselves, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? Amen. Because everything God has for me is for me. And everything God had, I said H-A-D, had for me, was for me, I said had past tense because some of my old stuff, and not just the stuff I can touch, not just tangible things, some of the stuff that I had lost, I allowed the enemy to come and take it from me. He didn't, I mean, some of the stuff, I just let him just waltz right on in and just take whatever he wanted. Amen. There was times when I had doubt, and because I had doubt, I allowed the devil to walk in and steal my face. There were times when I had remorse because I had remorse. I allowed the devil to steal my joy. My joy. And sometimes I had resentment. And because of my resentment, I allowed the devil to steal my spiritual vision and my ambition. Amen. Because some people say sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes I got I just got frustrated. Amen. And when I, the due to my frustration, the devil stole my contentment and my inner peace. Amen. Sometimes, 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 family, I worry too much. And because I worry too much, the devil just stole my spiritual vision. Amen. Amen. And, and sometimes, and my last sometime episode that I had, I was just downright stubborn. And because I was just stubborn and I was rebellious and I was resistant, the devil stole my perseverance. Coming to church was hard. Because he stole my perseverance because I was disobedient and I wasn't he I was reading the word, but I wasn't heeding to the word. Amen. But to make matters worse, while I was in my season of disobedience, while I was in my season of pride, while I was in my season of just being a downright brand new fool. Come on, somebody. <laughs> hey, hey, come on, somebody. Anybody have been a fool? The devil had blinded me. His wiles, his tricks were so subtle. I, that, that he didn't snatch them all from me all at once. The devil did it just the way Jesus said it. He come to sift you like wheat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a quick snatch. It's a slow, annoying, irritating sifting that just rubs on you day after day after day. The devil desires to sift you like wheat. Yeah. Amen. It wasn't a quick snatch. But I'm not going to stand behind this sacred desk and give the devil no glory this morning. No glory this morning. But a lot of stuff that the devil stole from us, he really had no interest in it. He really, he don't need your Gucci bag or your red bottom shoes or your fresh sushi sloop. But he'll take the credit for it though. These are the days of spiritual warfare and the devil wants your mind. He wants your mind. Because he knows once he has your mind, the money and the red bottom shoes, all that's just a bonus. Come on, somebody. This message is not talking about taking back cars and clothes. We get that stuff back at the end of the message. Amen? This message is about taking back and renewing your mind and having a Christ-like mentality to bring every thought into captivity into the obedience of Christ. The Bible refers to these days as perilous times. Just watch the news. 
you know, therefore it's time to be knowledgeable about staying vigilant. That means be watchful. Yeah. Be watchful and be persistent and watch and listen and learn. Yes. And remain and to remain victorious over your adversary who is your arch enemy. Yeah. The devil is relentless. Mm. So that means we got to be relentless. Yeah. Yeah. Tell somebody enough's enough. Yeah. I put my whole arm of God on this morning. And when you put it on, make sure you've been signed, sealed, and you've been delivered when you're wearing your full armor. Right. Amen, somebody. Yeah. When you got on the full armor of God, your armor is locked and loaded. You are now in warfare position. Yeah. You are now in position to stand against the wiles and the tricks of the devil because his tricks are subtle. Yeah. Amen. He ain't got nothing new. He used the same thing over and over. Why? Because it's still working. Yeah. Oh, get quiet. They got quiet, they got quiet, they got quiet. That's all right. That's all right. I'm gonna give you an example. I had an old friend of mine, he, he called me and he asked me if the church could, could pray for him. And I said, okay, well, I'll do just that. But I said, I need you to be specific when we pray. We like to be specific in this church, amen? And he said, well, I just lost my fourth job within 16 months. And I asked him, I said, well, did they do a, last, a mass layoff? He said, no. I said, well, did your company downsize? What happened? He said, no. I'd say, well, are uh, they just cut, cutting back for economical purposes? He said, no. I, he said, I got fired because he told me if I got caught drinking on the job one more time, they was going to let me go. Now, I'm not going to stand here in the social intelligence and elaborate on that. Right. Amen. But I just said, oh, so, okay, well, we'll just, we'll just pray for you in another area. Yeah, that's it. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Let that marinate for a minute. The devil, the, the devil just infiltrated his mind. He didn't steal the job. The devil stole his mind. Yes. Amen. Amen. Taking it back, taking it back. Yes. When we leave a loophole for the devil to come in and take things, take things back, we have a tendency to get off track very quickly when we allow the enemy to come in and infiltrate right. your thinking. Yes. Your thinking is very important. That's why the Bible tells you, let his mind be in you. That's also in Christ Jesus. Right. Amen. Amen. We live in a fallen society and we get things stolen from us all the time. And the, the statistics suggest that we in a nation play with criminal behavior and scandal, but I'm not going to get focused on the natural realm this morning. I want to stay spiritual. Amen. We, but God, God, has, God has a legal business that will empower his people. And God has an anointed business that will propel us to walk in authority. My God has an ordained business that will aggravate the devil. Yeah. You have to live a life to where when you wake up in the morning, the devil says, oh, not you again. Right. Not you again. God will make you fearless. God will make you courageous. Together, he will give you the power. Together, God will give us the power to walk as a line of jewel in the enemy's camp and take back everything the devil thought he stole. So get up and take back everything in the name of Jesus Christ this morning. Tell them, you can't have my house. You can't have my child. In the name of Jesus. Devil, this, this means war this morning. Amen. Do you trust and believe that God is greater than the devil in your little situation? Then get up and refuse to give in to past, past disappointments. And don't give in to past heartbreaks. Now is the time to do spiritual warfare at the throne of grace. Do it for your children. Do it for your grandchildren. Do it for peace in your home. Hold on and stand on the promises of God and use the power of prayer to take your joy back. Come on, somebody. Amen. As I mentioned earlier, the devil doesn't need your call. He don't want your new furniture. He has no interest. He has interests in stealing your spiritual treasures. The devil wants things that you can store up in heaven. He wants all those things. He don't care about nothing else. For example, he desires to snatch, the devil wants to snatch your kingdom purpose. I'm going to say it again, the devil yeah. wants to snatch your kingdom purpose. Yeah. He wants to snatch your spiritual prosperity. Yeah. If, if enemy sees that you have a carnal void in your life and you are not feeding on the word of God, yeah. the enemy knows this leaves an open door yeah. for him to fill that void with drugs. He'll fill it with alcohol. Yeah. He'll fill it with an unequally yoked relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. He'll fill it with sinful activity. Or he can fill it with idle time. Yeah. 
However, the devil could care less which one you choose. Just pick one. Amen. As long as you're not eating and filling the word of God, he don't, it doesn't matter to him. As long as you're not heeding to the word of God, that satisfies the devil. But we're here this morning to aggravate the devil because we live an incredible life in this church. Come on, tell us about an incredible life. Hallelujah. I feel like E-flat about to come on in about five minutes. Hey, but rest assured, God, God has created you to commune with him and to find peace with him. So allow God to fill that void in your life and don't look for nothing else. Because something else might come from the wrong direction yeah. or the wrong place. Yeah. If God don't send it, you don't want it. Right. Amen. Right. 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 The Bible says, be vigilant to be watchful. Yes, Why is that? Because the first thing the thief wants to do, he wants you to lose your passion and your love for your first love, which is Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. If, 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 you, if you love the Lord, I've seen many times to people that lose their zeal, They'll lose their zest for life. They'll come to church, but they don't feel like singing. They'll still come to church, but they don't want to clap their hands. They'll come to church, but they don't feel like praying. Amen. Saints of God, understand that we come to church sometimes, but we have to understand that if we have no kingdom purpose, no ambition, the devil don't care how much you go to church, as long as you're not doing what God says do, it doesn't matter how much you go. He don't care. He'll let you go to church. He'll let you go. Since I understand that our zeal and our Christian intensify, these things, they just don't evaporate. Satan came and snatched it away because it just don't go away. Come on. Come on. It, it, it depends on how we're living. And yeah. it, it makes a difference to yeah. how, we, how we're living to where the devil could come in and just take whatever he feels like taking yeah. when he gets good and ready. Yeah. So put your armor on. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Keep in mind about that unique calling that was placed on your life. Don't lose the zeal for Jesus. Yeah. Don't lose your passion for Jesus. Yeah. Remember the gift you had to serve others. Yeah. Remember the gift you had to sing. Remember that yeah. gift you had to witness. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that happened when we go. Remember when you were stirring up the gift. Yeah. But one day you got discouraged. Somebody let you down, or something was said in the sermon. You like all oh, the pastors picking on me again. No, 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 no. Don't let, don't let that get in your spirit. The devil is trying to tap you on the shoulder. He's whispering in your ear trying to convince you that the call in your life was just a lie, but the devil is alive from the pit this morning, not sitting back because we're on a mission from God. We're going to stay right there on the battlefield until God said, well done, my good and faithful servant. Hallelujah. The devil is, the devil is so, he's so persistent, but that's okay. Remember, remember, if the devil is, is capable of deceiving you, if you allow him to manipulate you, if you let him seduce you yeah. and be tempted in the same sin area and you stumble every time, yeah. the devil is going to attack you in the same area again and again and again. Why? Because now he has seen, he has established a stronghold in your life. Because yeah. you, you keep stumbling in the same area. He's not going to waste any time trying to create a new trick because he always keeps working. The more you fall in that area, the weaker that area become, and now it's a spiritual stronghold for the devil. Right. Can somebody say, but God? But God. Can somebody, but God has the power to deliver me. Yeah. God has the power to heal me. Yeah. God has the power to find the works of the devil. God has the power to destroy my stronghold. My God, my God has the power to break the demonic shackles. And by the blood of Jesus, I got a right to be set free from addiction. By the blood of Jesus, I got a right to be cancer free. By the blood of Jesus, I got a right to be pet free. By the blood of Jesus, I got a right to a happy home. Oh, by the blood of Jesus, I got a right to get out of my car and start dancing and walking on the road. Oh, by the blood of Jesus, the God had delivered me. Hallelujah. He's still the same God. He gave me the power to go into the enemy's camp and take back everything the devil thought. The devil thought, the devil thought he stole from me. When you know it's bad enough, you'll kick down the door to the devil's class, go in there and snatch the key that God gave you the power to take it back. Hallelujah, somebody. Take it back. I'm talking about a God who's so, so, so awesome God. Amen, somebody. I'm almost out your way. I told the devil, I said, devil, you can't stay in my house. I just took it back. Devil, you can't have my peace. I feel the E flat come on. I just took it back. Devil, you can't steal my joy. I just
just took it back. Yeah. Devil, you can't have my family. Yeah. I just took it back. In the name of Jesus, give me back my Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus, I'm snatching back my Christian virgin. In the name of Jesus, I'm snatching back my career. In the name of Jesus, I take it back my self-esteem. I take it back my ambition. I take it back my perseverance. I take it back my smile. In the name of Jesus, I take it back my power. Hallelujah. The devil is alive. We come together. Together, we just took it back. Yeah. 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 Yeah.